What's happening, Night Riders? So I know I'm really, really late with this, but this is Hulk versus Doomsday Death Battle, Marvel versus DC. Now, like I said, I know I'm really late with it, but I had other videos to get to, and then I got really busy, which is why I haven't been putting out that many videos this week. Um, but I'm super amped to check this out because Hulk versus Doomsday, it, it should be a very interesting fight. My money is on Doomsday, however, um, and like I said, I know that this has been out for what, at least a week and a half, a week, so I know all of you guys that are watching this already know who's going to, going to win, so I just hope that I pick right. <laughs> um, yes, I will admit that I know way more about Doomsday than I know about, well, I won't say way more, but I know more about Doomsday than I do about the Hulk, and... What I'm going off of, to be honest with you guys, is just the fact that I know Doomsday has killed Superman, and um, the same attack doesn't work on Doomsday twice. Now, I'm not going to get too much into it, because I'm sure they're going to cover it in Death Battle, but um, I don't see how Hulk would beat Doomsday. Now, especially if they use the regular Hulk. Now, if it's... The Hulk from World War Hulk and Planet Hulk, if they use that one, then maybe I can see how he would put up a better fight and could possibly even win. But just like the regular Hulk, like in the movies, I don't see how he would beat him. But let's just jump straight into this. I rambled on long enough. Let's see who wins. Let's go. Before we get into the episode, I have something very important to tell you. Our new game, Super Red Ray Gun, just launched on Steam for PC, Mac, and Linux. Oh, they made a game? unique levels, three modes of play, and tongue-in-cheek story of 1980s politics. It's a whole lot of value for just $9.99. Cool. And pick it up by November 15th. Yo, I haven't touched my Steam account in a very long time. <laughs> and I know that they got an upgrade in the Ruby, Ruby Glimmy crap. The Ruby Grimmy Clips, but I haven't even touched it. That game needs to come to console. Pure, unadulterated rage. Usually, Just saying. <laughs> in a stressful situation, you'd want to avoid this sort of emotion in order to keep yourself focused. Unless you're a giant rampaging pile of muscles like these two. Dr. Bruce Banner, the Incredible Hulk. And Doomsday, the monster who killed Superman. He's yep. with an boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. This is going to be Within interesting. each of us, off times, there dwells a mighty and raging fury. And this suits no one better than the mild-mannered scientist, Bruce Banner. Because when Bruce gets angry, oh boy, <laughs> you wouldn't like him when he's angry. True. Dr. Robert Bruce Banner may have grown up with few friends, but what he lacked in popularity, he made up tenfold with his intellect. However, in spite True. of his gifts, it was never enough to earn the respect and love of his father. Partly because Bruce was so smart that his alcoholic dad literally thought he was a monster and expressed wow. that to Bruce pretty thoroughly. God damn! Wow. How much distance do you think you got there, Wiz? Eh, nine, <laughs> ten feet? Man. With an arm like that, he could really go places. Like the nut house after he murdered his wife right in front of Bruce. Aww. Understandably traumatized, Bruce coped by creating an imaginary friend to talk to. You know, I had of an course. imaginary friend once. You did. What was his name? Dad. <laughs> oh. Well, Bruce's friend served as that a social outlet all the way through his college graduation. However, his advice to Bruce was oftentimes destructive. So when the U.S. military recruited Bruce to make weapons, it was actually kind of fitting. Bruce was tasked with developing a gamma bomb, which would use gamma radiation to target enemy weapons. <laughs> 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 that should not a dick in the corner. <laughs> that's what Bruce was told. Surprise, I'm sorry. Surprise, Call me over radiation right. is actually pretty fucking harmful. And when it came time to test the bomb and some dumb kid decided to play his harmonica right in the test zone, I'd have left him there. his assistant to stop the countdown and dashed off to save it. But turns out his assistant was a Russian spy who set off the bomb anyway. Uh -oh. On that strange, strange day, Bruce's imaginary friend became a real-life terror as he transformed into the Incredible Hulk. I actually didn't know he was an imaginary friend at first. Yes. 
And I really didn't like the first Hulk movie. Ever since, whenever he's I like the second one. His body and mind that one. Into that of the Hulks, <laughs> granting him unmeasurable power. Yeah, that Hulk movie I love. The first one though, the one that was just called the Hulk. I ain't like that one. Survive the harshest environments, and most importantly, smash the crap out of everything with his bare fists. <laughs> he also knows a technique known as the thunderclap, which creates a shockwave that can deafen foes, level forests, and push back explosions. Yeah. And if he needed anything more than that, the Hulk has a healing factor that gives Wolverines a run for his money. You're healing. You should be dead. He's super strong and super hard to kill. What's yeah, that's true. Like? Well, there's one little detail that kind of ruins the whole experience. Bruce can't really control the Hulk. In fact, the Hulk is his own being, and they both hate each other, vying for dominance over Bruce's body. And yet, Bruce and the Hulk are often reminded how much they depend on each other for survival. Bruce figured if he was stuck with his big green Goliath forever, he might as well try using it for good, eventually joining the Avengers, <laughs> well. Defenders, the Fantastic Four, and even the Illuminati. Hulk has wow. held up a 150 billion ton mountain, escaped Earth's gravitational pull with a single jump, billion? and one time when a planet's tectonic plate started splitting apart, threatening to shatter the whole world, he just jumped right in there and pulled the planet back together. The estimated average mass what? of a single lithospheric plate is nearly 45 quintillion tons, and the Hulk pulled two of these together with nothing but his bare hands. And he's not uh, just I will admit I know he's that. more than twice as fast as a fighter jet, which puts him over Mach 5 speeds at least, and he can always go faster if he's pissed off enough. This is because <laughs> the savage Hulk's strength is directly related to his anger. The angrier he gets, the more powerful he becomes. In theory, this means his maximum level of strength is potentially infinite. And when he taps into that immeasurable rage I'll to admit the fullest, that. he truly lives up to his name of Worldbreaker. Bigger, stronger, and oozing with gamma radiation, the Worldbreaker Hulk is so powerful, with a single stump he created earthquakes felt hundreds of ah, miles away. Yeah, that's from In the... his battle with Sentry, based yeah. on Marvel Superman, they almost destroyed New York. And when battling another world breaker Hulk, a single collision between them obliterated an entire planet. Even the mm. mutant Darwin's power, which specifically adapts to counter any enemy, decided that the best defense against the Hulk was to be somewhere else. Holy That's hell, funny. who could even stand up to this madness? <laughs> Not funny. many, obviously. Typically, Bruce does his best to contain and limit the Hulk's power. In fact, Worldbreaker Hulk is a result of Bruce relinquishing that control entirely. In terms of combat, usually only true. cosmic beings like Silver Surfer or Zeus have the might to challenge the Hulk. Oh yeah, like that one time Zeus hit him so hard, he burned out his healing factor. But oh, even shit. gods sometimes have to learn the hard way. You do not mess with the Incredible Hulk. This scene, like everybody else, had me on the floor. <laughs> Oh man, I was on the floor in the theaters, rolling. <laughs> Puny God. I will admit that they taught me a lot of stuff about the Hulk that I did not know. And I will admit that. This life is reality for you. YouTube comments, do do the yeah, do do the guy. Thousands of years ago, <laughs> on an uninhabitable prehistoric planet which would one day be known as Krypton, a scientist named Bertrand intended to engineer the ultimate life form. Yep, it's another This is going to be a very, very interesting twist. fight. See, at this time, Krypton was a harsh wasteland filled with nothing but sharp rocks, poisonous air, and violent predators. Bertrand believed that if he could create something that could live through that, they could survive just about anywhere. To realize this theory, Bertrand acquired an infant from somewhere, and through a rapidly accelerated <laughs> yeah. evolution process, somewhere. attempted to transform him into his dream creation. Oh, don't try to dance around it, Wiz. Bertrand put that little sucker into a baby <laughs> cannon, blasted him into the wild to get murdered by any number of things, sucked out what was left of him with a vacuum cleaner, and just cloned a new one out of the mess and do it all over again. Well, and he could damn sure did. Yeah. The idea being each new clone would be stronger than the one oh, before, man, that's funny thus covering it, millions of years of evolution in just a few decades. That doesn't sound like science. No, it doesn't. So after 30 straight years of baby murder, one of the clones finally survived the test. Amazed by his own success, Bertrand named this baby the Ultimate. 
the ultimate baby. But to the rest <laughs> of the universe, he was their doomsday. Like anyway, the whole doomsday don't give a shit. Is, patenting my baby cannon was a good idea. <laughs> Successful as Bertrand's experiment was, it was anything but a good idea. Turns out, while Doomsday usually appears to be a mindless beast, he remembered every single time Bertrand had him killed. As a result, Doomsday had been unintentionally programmed at a genetic level to hate everything that lives. Bummer. Yup. Needless to say, Bertrand was pretty screwed. Because yeah, even with 30 years of development, Bertrand had never quite figured out what to do if his experiment actually worked. Because Bertrand is the worst. <laughs> I mean, he did do what he set out to do. He made an eight foot did. ten monster that doesn't need to eat, breathe, or have internal organs to live. It just kills and kills and kills, kills some more. Doomsday <laughs> possesses enormous strength, incredible durability, and poisonous spikes which can extend. But due oh, to yeah, Bertrand's experiments, that. Doomsday's greatest power of all is his ability to adapt to his opponent's powers. After taking his sweet revenge, Doomsday stowed away on a supply ship and ravaged dozens of planets until he finally found himself on Earth. On that day, Doomsday did the unthinkable. On that day, Doomsday killed Superman. Straight bloodbath. Well, kind of. He actually put fight. him into a super sleep. After several days, he kind of woke up more powerful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We all know. Yeah, yeah. At yeah. least Soups took Doomsday down with him. Or maybe not. Turns out, whenever Doomsday dies, he just comes back to life, forever immune to whatever killed him in the first place. Yep. <laughs> He's been punched to death by Superman, blasted apart by the Radiance energy, brutally ripped in half, incinerated by Imperiax, and just curb stomped by a Kryptonian horde. <laughs> Practically invulnerable at this point, Doomsday's taken on Darkseid, tanking his Omega Beams and beating him to near death. He single-handedly defeated most of the Justice League and took on an energy attack that wiped out a fifth of a planet. He's punched yeah. through the Phantom Zone, battled super beings called Gogs for a century, and even broken Wonder Woman's arms. Arms strong enough to help pull the Earth. And during his rematch with the Man of Steel, after witnessing Doomsday survive an explosion equivalent to one million nukes, Superman realized that the only way to stop him was to send him to the end of time. And his most powerful, Doomsday's mere presence can boil the ocean and disintegrate buildings. Oh, uh, yeah, that's a new 52 version. Africa made wildebeest an endangered species just by walking around. But yeah. when he's got in strength, he really lacks in brains. Not that he's dumb, he just literally lacks a brain. More often than not, Doomsday is little more than a one-track mind-killing machine. This makes his intentions predictable, and a clever opponent could use this to, say, lead him into a trap. And should that foe come up with a new way to hurt Doomsday, he could be killed. Still, that's gonna be pretty goddamn hard to do. Yeah. I actually like that Superman Doomsday movie. It was hard to watch my boy get his ass beat right, up. <laughs> Let's end this debate once and for all. But first, Wiz won't stop talking about this thing, so he wants to tell you about it. What's this? As a man of science, I analyze everything from the car I drive to the razor that shaves my face. I only use a razor I've scientifically proven to be of both quality and value. Of course I you did. I use Harry's. Thanks to their factory in Germany, Harry's produces quality razors at half the price. Just two dollars a blade. Harry's sleep five. Well, unfortunately, offers a softer flex I don't have to really worry about that. Blade, maybe, texture, maybe for this, but I don't really need it. Strip to help soothe the skin. But if you're like me, you'll want to try it for yourself. Harry's but I want so it though. I don't know why this just doesn't you a grow. Set absolutely free when you subscribe. <sighs> just pay three dollars for shipping. And as a viewer of Death Battle, you can get a free bottle of post-shave balm, which soothes and relieves skin after shaving and helps reduce redness. Just enter the code DEATHBATTLE at checkout. So head on over to harrys.com by clicking the link in the description Fucking below and get your free trial <laughs> set and post-shave balm. Just remember, use the code so, yeah, DEATHBATTLE at checkout. So yeah, um, y'all, but right now, it's this is going to be a hell of a fight. Battle! Still think Doomsday's going to take it, but I don't know. I, I'm... I'd be amazed if Hulk beats him. I'm, I would love to see the explanation that they give for whoever wins. God damn.
<laughs> I like how they both came in SpaceX. Begin! Oh, fight. My bad. <laughs> I knew it was something like that. I think it was last season that used to say begin. So that's probably what I was thinking of. Yeah, that fight would definitely be a destructive ass fight. That was hot. That was hot. It is actually scary how similar they are. Except for their appearance, their appearance and their background, but like the fact that they're both considered to be mindless monsters, even though they're both really not. <laughs> I always thought that, that shit was hot. How you rip apart a car and use that shit? Shit was hot. That reminded me of that Jet Li movie, The One, where my man picked up two motorcycles. Yeah, that shit was hot. <laughs> Is that him supposed to be transforming into World War Hulk? I don't think it works that way, Death Battle, but I'll rock with it. <laughs> Yo, what? When did it get so bloody? Here's ah. where it gets a bit tricky. 
The Hulk may look like a giant green monster, but he's still technically human, and his power directly correlates with his anger. A human True. being's anger stems from an increase in hormones and adrenaline in the body. However, uh, the brain can this is about to be real complicated. At such a rate for a limited time, eventually giving up and turning apathetic. Therefore, Hulk's limitless power could never have existed without his healing factor. It's the key. It allowed his body to continue producing hormones and adrenaline far beyond the norm, theoretically an endless supply, thus increasing his superhuman power to an immeasurable degree. So Doomsday overtaxing his healing factor meant the Hulk could no longer maintain his increasing rage and Hulk form. And if you're still skeptical, that's why there's a bunch of times in comics when a huge impact forced the Hulk to turn back into Bruce Banner, including that battle between Worldbreaker Hulk and Sentry. With his healing power beaten down, he literally couldn't keep himself angry enough to stay in Hulk mode. I love science, but there's still one more I did thing. Not Thanks know to that. his battles with Superman and other Kryptonians, Doomsday has evolved to a point where it's basically impossible to kill him with brute force alone. So Hulk couldn't have killed him by just getting angry enough to punch harder than Doomsday ever felt. Precisely. Here's the proof. Superman and Doomsday eventually had a rematch, in which Superman was much more powerful than their first battle. As we've discussed oh. before, Superman's power is also potentially limitless by way of continually absorbing solar energy. And at this point in his story, he'd begun to discover that. But try as he might, despite his increased power, Supes couldn't kill Doomsday with blunt force a second time. Ah. Ultimately, Doomsday's immunity to being ripped, impaled, incinerated, blasted with energy, and being beaten by blunt force from both focused and multiple sources means Hulk just didn't have the options available to take Doomsday out before his healing factor was overtaxed. On this day, Hulk <laughs> yeah. met his doom. God Doomsday. damn. The winner is Doomsday. Told you. <laughs> Next time on Death Metal. Alright, who we got? Who we got? What? Yo, Zoro is my hey guys, dude. Hey guys, this is Chatty Plays Boomstick, and next up we've got Zoro from One Piece. Stick oh, who is he fighting? fighting? Wanna watch Death Battle on your big screen? First members can now download the Xbox One and Apple TV apps. It's great, but super important. We just launched a brand new video game. It's Super Rad Ray Gun. Link in the description. Click it. Check it out. Yo. Okay. Zoro is my dude. I cannot wait to find out who he's fighting. Um, alright, so the reason that I said that if that was supposed to be like the World Breaker Hulk, um, the reason that I said that it doesn't work that way is because the Hulk basically became that powerful because, um, like he wasn't Bruce Banner for over a year and he fought for over a year as a gladiator, which, you know, made his fighting, uh, which made him that much more better at fighting. Um, in order for the Hulk, to my understanding, I could be 100% wrong, but to my understanding, the Hulk cannot reach those levels unless Bruce Banner's subconscious is, you know, is, is not there, you know what I mean? Like, if Bruce Banner is buried so deep within the Hulk's mind that the Hulk has 100% control. And I feel like that's what it was when he was World Breaker Hulk, which made him that much more powerful. Um, so yeah, that was the reason why I said that. But yeah, like I said, I didn't see how the Hulk was able to beat Doomsday. Because you heard him. <laughs> but um, I'm very curious to know how many of you guys actually got that right. Um, what, what, what was I going to ask y'all? I am curious to know, for the, some of you... Because I'm pretty sure that there are some people out there that think that the Hulk should have won. I'm curious to know why you think that the, that the Hulk should have won. I, like, I'm, I, I'm, I really want to know why you think the Hulk should have won, if that's what you think. Um, but yeah, this death battle was awesome. I cannot... Well, I, I truly enjoyed this one. And towards the end, it got really, really fucking brutal. Like, I... Yo. Wasn't fully expecting that level of brutality, but... That shit was awesome. <laughs> I cannot wait to see who Zoro goes up against. I'm going to go check that out once I finish recording. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I can't wait to see your comments down below. And until next time, y'all, we are on our way to 50K. Ride or die, not riders. We out.